For parts manufactured using molding techniques such as plastic and metal injection molding and die casting, wall thickness is a critical factor to determine strength, durability and weight, but also manufacturability. If a wall is too thick or too thin, you may get short shots, flow lines, sink marks or warpage. OnShape's thickness analysis tool helps you visualize problems before they occur. Select one or more parts and the analysis begins. This time it's super quick because this analysis has been run previously and the results have been fetched from the cache. The color coding indicates the thickness at every location on the model, so if we zoom in on the red area and hover the mouse over each face, we can see that this boss goes from 8 down to 2 and then down to zero thickness at the edge. This is the rolling ball method that measures the largest sphere that fits inside the part at each point and is extremely accurate, but as it approaches a sharp corner, the value tends to zero. That's why Onshape also includes the ray method, which fires a ray normal to each face and measures the next closest wall, which is perfect for thin features like ribs. Other methods include ray and rolling ball gradient. This measures the rate of change of thickness, which is a critical factor in determining how fast a wall goes from thick to thin or vice versa, which can cause short shots or warpage. There are other ways to interpret the results by editing the scale to find only the thick or thin regions. You can drag the slider or enter a value. Now, all areas less than 6mm are displayed in purple. Adjusting the range by increasing the minimum and lowering the maximum, you can further focus on problem areas by dimming the colour scale, so only the areas of interest are highlighted. Since the thickness analysis display is persistent, you can use it as a guide while designing. Here we see the thick red area is caused by the hole in this boss. Editing the extrude feature and changing it from blind to up to next puts a hole right through the part, but adding an offset fixes it. Once the model has regenerated, the analysis recalculates. The results are then processed, refined and shown on screen. Since intermediate results are shown, you don't have to wait for the refinement to finish to see that the problem is solved. The thickness analysis tool can be used on several parts at the same time in a multi-part part studio and in true Onshape style, you can work on other aspects of the design in other tabs while you're waiting for the analysis to finish. Once it has, you'll be notified. Thickness analysis in Onshape is a powerful tool to help designers and manufacturers create better products faster and with fewer errors.